Hello, it's Patrick the Oki Shaver. Um, I was tagged by Kevy Parr to do a, what is it? Five artisans uh, for the rest of your life. Uh, not an easy selection for me, but the uh, criteria is scent, selection, sentiment, value, and performance. So I'll start out with scent, as it says, and the one that I would not be without uh, in my den is Seville by Barrister and Man. Uh, I love this scent. It's always been one of my favorites as long as I've, I've had it and I will always have it. Um, so that is my selection for scent for uh, Artisan with, with most selection. There's several I could have mentioned uh sterling comes to mind uh vanule comes to mind but <clears throat> there's a a company out of tennessee called hendrix uh, classics and company uh pete hendrix and uh hcnc in it it has a uh the soap and the balm are unscented and you would add droplets of whatever kind of scent that you have and there's way over 25 of them uh I've got a few of these, uh, six or eight different scents that, that I could use. Um, so that is my su uh, selection for selection, HCNC. For sentiment, uh, this is a company, uh, these guys are out of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I met them at a couple of uh, shave meetups in uh, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, but it's Sir Henry's, uh, and Quartet is I couldn't say my favorite, but it's one of them. I was uh, one of the testers for a few of their soaps, and this happens to be one of them. Um, good guys, solid guys. Um, Dominic um, is the guy I dealt with the most, and he um, would help me with any kind of problems. I had some problem with some vanilla in one of the formulations, and <clears throat> he ended up taking it out of uh, their uh, their makeup. So. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's my selection for sentiment is Sir Henry's. Uh, for value, <clears throat> and I could have put this company anywhere in here because it was the first, um, my first artisan that I ever used, but it's Sterling. Uh, Ozark Mountain is one of my favorites. Um, Rod and Mandy uh, own the company, and they're only a couple of hours from from where I live, and I go over there a couple of times a a year and probably pester them more than I should. But they're good people. Um, I think a lot of them. Um, and when I leave, I'm planning to come back every time. That's they just treat you so well over there. Everything they have is is good stuff, uh, from the bath soaps to the uh, shower gels, whatever. <clears throat> but for uh, for value, it's uh, sterling, and this is uh, like thirteen dollars and eighty cents for five point eight ounces of soap. Pretty good value. Um, and for performance, which is the last one, I'm going with uh, PAA. Um, I could have went with any one on this. Also, I, I won't. I don't usually have things that don't work well for me, um, but. Uh, the PAA, to me, any of it works very well. I've got a few soaps and um, looking maybe to get a few more. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. but And most of the ones I have are CK1. The CK6, which I have used and have a few samples of, they're also very nice. Um, maybe even easier to work with than the CK1, which is kind of hard to believe. But, uh, yeah, for uh, performance... Phoenix, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, that's all that I've got on this video. Just the five there. Uh, we'll recap if you want. <clears throat> or if I want, I guess. So for scent, Barrister and Man, Seville. For selection, it's Hendrix Classics and Company. For sentiment, Sir Henry's. I've got seven or eight of these soaps, I think. For value, is sterling. And like I said, this could be in any of the categories, in my opinion. 
and then for performance, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Um, anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you, Kevy, for uh, tagging me. Uh, I can't think of anyone to tag right now. Everyone I know has been tagged, and I've watched their videos. Uh, anyways, I will uh, get off here and let y'all go. Uh, let me know what you think of the, the list I've put forth. Um, thank you for watching, and be careful out there. Have a good day.